Um, hello, everybody, starting another webinar. So yeah, now we are officially live and recording so that we can check on that later on our YouTube channel. Bon dia, bon dia, Gabriela. For those who don't know me, I'm originally from Brazil. That's why I'm saying bon dia. It's good morning in Portuguese. For those who don't know, we speak Portuguese in Brazil. We don't speak Spanish, okay? <laughs> I appreciate people who remember that. Okay, so let's get started. Um, let me just share my screen here with everyone, and then you guys tell me and confirm that you can see it. Give me just a second so I can organize myself. There you go. Is everything good, guys, on your end? Perfect. Thank you, Renan, for confirming. Okay, great. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so let's get started officially, guys. Thank you so much for being here. I do appreciate that you guys are here and on time. That's amazing. I always ask that question, drop here in the chat. Is it your first webinar or it's the second one or it's the third? Have you been coming here watching this uh, every now and then? Okay, Ross said second, Nicholas said first. So. Thank you for being here. I hope you do like it. First with Max Webb from Gary. First person excited. There you go. Thank you, Ranon. Chip says first. Many people here for the first time. So yeah, I am gonna make my formal introduction. So guys, I'm Carol. As you guys already know, I've been with Max Webb for a while now and I'm super, super excited and happy to be part of this team. Um, I am originally from Brazil, Rio de Janeiro, a proud Brazilian. Uh, that's why I was just speaking a little bit Portuguese there with some Brazilians that I see here. So thank you guys for being here. Uh, but I'm speaking to you today from Dayton, Ohio. And thank God today it's not so cold because you know springtime is here, thank God. So yeah, I'm just taking uh, these webinars for a while now and I do love it. It's one of the, the parts of my job that I love it, just connecting with you guys. And it's actually made for you and by you. So I'm always open for feedback uh, through email, Facebook, Instagram, Skype. So if you're not connected with me yet on social media, just use your preferred method. Come to me, give me your feedback. If you like it, any feedback that you have, right? What do you like to, what would you like to hear? us covering here and I'm going to dig deep into the subject that you are going to that you would like to hear us talking about and just bring it here for you you know it's important that we cover things that you would like to hear about so bring your feedback to me and I also want to invite you if you want the recording of this webinar we are going to add it on our YouTube channel right after this webinar and to the end of the day it's there right it's up and live there and if you want the presentation, I can send your way. Just email me and I can send the file your way after this webinar, okay? For those who can make it live, please, uh, I do appreciate that you guys are here. Uh, some people cannot make it at this time. I also accept suggestions if you want to make it in a different time. We are flexible. So just let me know and, you know, we can definitely make it you know, like at different times each time we come here. Leandro from Rio, yay. Let me drop here in the chat my email address and you guys can connect with me. Uh, it's carol.gurner at maxweb.com. So feel free to email me with your feedback and requesting for this presentation after. So let's move on. Okay, so our affiliate managers and our whole team is on Skype available to you. Um, if you have questions after this webinar, you can definitely hit us up and we'll be more than happy to cover all the questions that you have. Uh, if you want a specific offer set up that you don't have yet, if you need help with anything, just hit us up. And I always say that we are in the office from Monday through Friday and we have flexible schedules, but send us a message and we will always reply to you as quickly as we can. Uh, we are super humble. I just wanna say this before I say the next thing, but we are the best at giving support to our affiliates. So just message us, even if it takes a little bit longer for us to get back to you, 
do not worry. We are going to get back to you and help you with anything that you need. We always do anything in our power to get back to you and help you with anything. So just hit us up if you need anything along the way. If you are a MaxWeb affiliate, great. If you are not yet, definitely sign up and get started with us and we will help you along your journey there, okay? Awesome. Uh, our incredible Christina that is here with us today just made it simple and created this QR code that you just point your phone now to the screen. That's the moment. Get your phone and point it to the screen and you're going to have access to the social media pages that you should be on top of because we post all the news about MaxWeb there. All the new offers go there as well. And also our website where you can find the FAQs page that it's the best friend of the new affiliates. You can find our academy with a ton of content, not only for beginners, but also for those who have been in the industry for a while. It's a dynamic industry and we have to keep up with it, right? So there is a lot of content there. So all you have to do is to point your phone. Again, I'm giving you time. I'm talking to give you time. Point your phone towards the screen and keep those links handy. You're gonna need it, okay? Did I give you enough time? I hope so. If not, send me a message and I'll send you the slide so you can have this QR code handy. Okay, and moving on. I love this part and the guys that have been here for a while, have been coming to this webinar for a while. I always say this, but I do love this part. I cannot put all the top offers that we have here, because if not, we would be here forever, but I can highlight some of them for you. If you are not set up for these offers yet, all you have to do is to hit up your affiliate manager after this webinar and we can set you up, right? Um, we have some of the top offers here, okay? Spinal Force is crushing it. It's a pretty recent offer, but it keeps crushing it. It keeps scaling at 3.86 conversion rate and an amazing CPA of $80. And Diabacor has been with us for a while because you heard me talking about this one, but still, while it's not a recent offer, it's just consistently converting at 3.34 conversion rate and an 80 CPA as well. Visit Prime also new, it's a vision supplement. And again, winner at 3.40 conversion rate and 80 CPA and Herpacil also an offer that has been with us for a while but still converting beautifully and consistently you do want to test it because it's in our ranking of top offers there at 80 CPA and 2.67 conversion rate if you're not promoting these offers you want to set them up yes you do keep that tip so let's check on our replay. Uh, you are not here for the last webinar. I saw, I saw a lot of first timers here today. If you did not check on the SEO trends that we talked about on the last webinar, it's okay. The replay is on our YouTube channel on the link that you just bookmarked in that QR code. So you can just run there after the webinar, please. And check what we covered on the last webinar of this month. So you can also check there, the podcasts, and there is a specific podcast for each traffic source that you're running. If you do email, you want to check Liz Graham. If you do SEO, you want to check the podcast that Craig was talking about, was talking to Anna. He gave so many tips about SEO. You want to check on that. If you're doing YouTube, which is the traffic source of the moment, you want to check Chris Reader on the Max Web Connect and you want to check Atla talking about YouTube as well. So there is one podcast or more for each traffic source. Take a look there and you're going to find something for you. Okay. Awesome. Moving on, let's start with our topic. So Microsoft Ads, why is it a great traffic source anyway? There's so many reasons that we are going to cover here today. But as we typically do, let's start with an overview. Wait, haven't you heard of Microsoft Ads yet? Is it new? What is that? I'm pretty sure you have. It's been in the industry for a while, guys. It's just formally known as Bing. 
And this rebranding, it's supposed to represent a new beginning, right? It's actually used for those affiliates that do not want to focus only on optimizing uh, a campaign on one specific SEM or search engine marketing platform. They want to diversify uh, between different traffic sources. They want to increase their reach and target more the users. And I'll tell you why it's more targeted in a moment. Like we just said, it's not a newcomer in the industry, so we can trust, right? Uh, and this new beginning, it's actually supposed to symbolize like a more focused, uh, uh, like excellence in support and a greater reach, music to our ears. We like that, right? Numbers are showing that it's over 6 billion users reached each month. And then you come to me, you guys doing search Google ads and say like, that's nothing, Carol, compared to Google. Well, yeah, but still it's 6 billion people with a very targeted audience that you can advertise to. And these numbers are likely to grow even further. Why should you use Microsoft Ads anyways? So as marketers, we are always looking for ways that we can increase the return of investment that we get, right? Uh, and it's not only the money that we spend directly on the ads. Have you ever stopped and like priced, put a price on the time that you're spending to create your campaigns, to create the content? If not, you should do that because your time is also available, right? So how much money, how much time, how much in dollar amount you're actually putting into your campaigns? How much ROI are you having? Have you asked yourself that? If not, you should start right away, right from the get-go. As we talked about, some marketers, they just prefer to optimize a campaign on one search engine marketing platform. Others, they prefer to diversify and then spending some money here and some money there. Uh, and one thing that we are gonna see about Microsoft Ads is that you don't need a whole a lot of money to start with. We know that PPC, pay-per-click, is already like a cheaper way to start on affiliate marketing. But with Microsoft Ads, it's even cheaper than the competing search engines out there. And we are gonna show you what in a minute, how much they're charging. Take a look. Uh, we know that people, people, the majority of the people, they use Google, right? Um, most familiar, most affiliates are familiar with Google. Um, Microsoft ads, they are similar in, in many aspects. To so just open Bing or Yahoo search, you're gonna see that it's the same. But as we just said, their CPC when it comes to advertising is 50% lower, guys. Yes, you heard it right. It's 50% lower. So can you imagine being able to start off a campaign and just paying like a fraction of the price? That's awesome. It's definitely a, a traffic source that you do want to explore. Uh, we know that Google, like, has the majority of the market there, right? They have a huge monopoly there and it's effective. But the demographics that Google has, it's like all over the place, right? So you have all sorts of interest there, all sorts of income, locations. But look at these numbers from Bing. Over 70% of the users, they are actually over the age of 35. And they make over 75K a year or more which means that they are wealthy. So you can explore luxury items for this audience. And let's suppose that you're running a campaign, bringing more to our, to our reality here of supplements, right, at MaxWeb. You're running a campaign on Google and you see that people are actually seeing your ads. They are going to your landing page and then they start watching the VSL. And then the moment that the prices pop up, boom, they get out. Right? There's no engagement there. They just run away when they see the prices. Maybe if you try it on Microsoft Ads because you know that the audience is wealthier, that would work, right? If people are not even buying the one bottle right, on Google Ads, why not try Microsoft, right? Even because you're just going to pay it 
a little bit, not a little, but half of the price of the CPC that you're paying on Google. And listen to this, there are reports showing that Bing users are spending over 20% more than on other search engines. So it is a no brainer, definitely worth to look into it. As we saw, the number of users is definitely lower than Google, but still 6 billion people or more. With a lower user base, of course, there's less competition, less marketers or fewer marketers starting out there. And this makes Microsoft Ads the ideal place for you to run your campaigns. What you can do to start with, if you're already running Google Ads, is you can get a Google Ads campaign that is already working. This is my opinion. You don't have to stop it there, right? If you have the ad spend to continue running there, just keep it there and then run it simultaneously on Microsoft Ads. If it starts working, why spending you know, more money on Google Ads if it's working on Microsoft Ads and then having a, a higher ROI there? Just keep the Microsoft Ads running and then try something else on Google, you know, or try multiple campaigns on Microsoft ads, you know, you can just shuffle things around as your ad spend allows you to, as your budget allows you to do, you know, but it's always good to pay less and get more money to yourself, right? When it comes to targeting, uh, it also allows you to actually uh, target the devices and the operational systems that your audience, that the audience uses. So if you have, for instance, the information of the demographics of a specific offer, you can target that accordingly. And it's not only the device, but also the operating system. We know that most of the people have their phones on them pretty much all the time right now, but maybe for a specific offer, they have, they, it's, it's more like desktop, right? So you can target that accordingly. It's more like Android versus iOS. If you have the demographics for the offer, you can target that accordingly on Microsoft Ads too. Uh, and the compatibility with Google Ads according to Microsoft Ads, it's pretty simple. If you wanna just copy, it's like a copy and pasting according to them. You go in there inside menu and just simply get your campaigns from Google, and then you're able to put it on the search engines, Bing and Yahoo, like in a heartbeat. Uh, if you go on their website, and I'm gonna show you before we end this, it, it's, it looks pretty neat. So I believe when they say that it's simple, like just a copy and paste in Control C, Control V. We know that the market share, of course, Google has a monopoly there. It targets billions and billions of users, but it doesn't mean that your campaigns on Microsoft ads are not going to be profitable. As we can see, if the audience is wealthier, you can explore that a ton. We just covered a few offers that would be great for that audience. Guys, people are working remotely. In, you know, like even though things are getting better now, people are still working from home. People with back pain out there, man, it's countless. People that are having vision problems there, you know, that would be interested in getting a supplement for vision. Definitely there is a lot. And the same person that is looking for something for back pain might be looking for something for vision. There are so many people out there suffering for diabetes and it's not only at the beginning of the year, there are some people that are still looking to lose weight. So there are a lot of ways that you can actually advertise to the same people. Just remember not to spam them, right? And remember that you're talking to people. So bring a content that actually engages them, right? Awesome. So I do want to show you a little bit of something that caught my attention. Uh, Stop me here in the chat if you see, do you see the, the website? Just drop here in the chat a yes for me, please. Are you guys with me? Yes, okay, perfect. Thank you, Gary. Okay, so the first step that you wanna do after this webinar, if you got interested in learning more is checking their website. It's pretty neat. I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna go to the part that I loved. 
I'm a person that I ask questions about everything all the time. And I love when I have them answered right away. So go to the FAQ section and read it. That's the first thing you wanna do. And it's not gonna take more than 10 minutes of your time. I don't know about yourself, but I make an exercise for me. If something takes more than 10 minutes of my time and it hooks me, then I'm gonna dive, right? So this definitely hooked me. Like it shows where your ads will appear. It shows what determines your position. It tells you if it's right for you, um, how you should use it, getting started. I love when it gives you like all the tools. And there's a lot more that you can explore here on their website to start with. So I invite you. I'm sounding like a salesperson from Microsoft, but it's really just to give you information. And I invite you to look into this because if it's cheaper and if it's gonna bring you a higher ROI, I want you to know about it, right? Because I want you to be successful. Then definitely, definitely look into this and give it a shot and see if it's right for you. Okay, and if you want to know the offers that are going to do well on this type of traffic source, that's where we can help. Talk to your affiliate manager and we're going to be more than happy to help you uh, choosing the campaigns there. Okay. So let's do some takeaways. What did we learn today? What we covered today? So we know that most affiliates focused, focus sorry, only on Google. They decide to optimize their campaigns and stick to it, that's it. But with all the, oh, my Google account got shut down and stuff like that, you can definitely see Microsoft Ad as an option and try another SEM platforms. You should not find a big difference to get a campaign from Google that already works, that is proven to work there and move it to Microsoft or run it simultaneously and pay less that we love increase your ROI there. It's just a few clicks and you're live. You can expect lower CPCs, as we just said, the audience is different, still wealthier, which we, which we love, right? And you can always get a Google campaign and run it there for just a fraction of the price. I hope this was helpful and that you liked this overview on Microsoft Edge. I did not finish. I have to wrap up with my quote for the day. Remember, guys, we are this for the long run. It's not a sprint. It's a marathon. So it's better to go slow in the right direction than to go speeding up in the wrong direction. So choose the right direction for you. Remember, people are different. Their directions are different, too. I hope you like it this webinar for today. And a reminder, our affiliate managers are on Skype. And I do want to say something here today. I want to send a special hug to Claudio. It's one of our engineers here at MaxWeb that his birthday was last week. So Claudio, happy belated birthday. I want to send a special hug to our very own Anna. And I want to send a very special welcome to Ranan. That is our new team member that just joined NextWeb as our business development director. So we are excited to have you here. And the most special is you guys. Thanks for being here. I do appreciate the time. I can't thank you enough. And connect with me and tell me what you want to hear for next webinars. Thank you so much. And I'll see you next time. Ciao, ciao. I'll see you guys. Bye.